She just yeah. covered for herself. This year? Can you? Okay. Uh, my question is, um, I'd love to um, convey a conversation with my uh, colleagues mm -hmm. or my uh, friends about one topic. And then, uh, yeah, I um, during our conversation, I have thoughts about the topic. And then when I get home, get back home, I explore more on the topic. And then I come back to talk more. And then just talk and then silence, and then talk and then silence, and I develop my thoughts into the next level. Mm -hmm. That's my pattern. So she view her great ideas through alternating. Yeah, you can right. talk and silence. We talk going first. That's right. But she needs silence in order to digest talk content. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, can I invite any of us to actually share more? Yes, it's yeah. there. I find it interesting by share with my partner. Sure. Uh, she has a, we, we have deep, uh, different patterns. Okay. Uh, most of the statements she chose uh, me and some of the, I am both. Both, uh, both. And, uh, yeah. Some of the statements she chose for me, me, I am only I. Okay. And, uh, me, I, I chose, uh, most, most of the statement I chose uh, me, oh, and uh, some of the statement I chose uh, C. 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 <laughs> me, uh, I chose C. C is a long answer. We are talking to Trin. <laughs> so what did you discover from this? Yes, she she chose no B, yes. I chose some statements only B. Oh, okay. So out of that, um, what did you discover? What's the main difference between you and what's your name? Hello, Gwen. Between you and Gwen, what is the striking difference in learning style? Can you share? Okay, more like similar to this. Yeah, style. I, uh, I tell myself I'm uh, because I'm. Uh,
She will not speak, but she will evaluate with you. Very dangerous person, but very smart the way she describes how she responds to conversation. She responds to conversation by not taking part in it. Um, anyone dare to tell me who, who you are in learning? Yes. Don't worry. Oh, you are looking at me. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> Right. Uh, I don't really like to listen to issues or boring. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, the boring is it's talking a lot. Yes. So I want more interaction in the class. Sure, sure. So if my teacher is only reading books yes. or looking at the PowerPoint, yes. explaining things to me, boring, yeah. I get bored easily. Yes. Because yes. Like, uh, I learn a lot through noise. Right. When I study, I listen to music. Yeah. Interesting. And yeah. I can easily absorb things. Right, fast. sound plays a big part but, in your life. Uh, as a learner, currently I'm studying, so uh, I want someone who can uh, tell me yes. uh, their experiences sure. through teaching. Right. Uh, like uh, if they hear this topic, I want them to put uh, themselves there and right. explain to me for me to understand things right. clearly. Yes. I don't like uh, someone who's just telling. This is psychology, blah blah blah. Right, fact you don't and like to I want them to give me that. their experience right. through that topic. Oh, so so for me, that is mastery on a topic. Right. But if they will just tell Confused. me like uh, you go go home, research, mm. blah 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 blah. Right. And then I would always think, oh my teacher is mm. not prepared. Okay, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> so it's more and more. Very interesting. I think your approach to learning is what we call very con constructivist. Constructivist means if you are being forced to listen only, you get bored quickly. So you want, first of all, a change thoughts. Second, you feel that new ideas come because it is born out of interaction rather than one person transfer knowledge to you. You're not ready to take it as it is. You have to do something about it, such as Processing, interacting, modifying, illustrating. You're that kind of person. You're very complex, but I think I'm very similar to you as well. I like your pattern because it reflects my pattern as well. Yeah, thank you. Any anyone else? Different, yeah. I think Miss Le and Miss Yang are very similar. Uh, you are the opposite, yeah. You are very different from the other three. And you are also the most complex. You are you're like a a saint, a, a wise man. Have you heard a lot story about the one? Very wise, like oh, I'm not saying anything, but I know all. <laughs> Don't mess with me. <laughs> yeah. Anyone has a different pattern from the rest yet? Yeah, from so far those people share? Anyone? Hannah? I'm quite surprised with my answers. Yes. I thought I'm a very, very positive person, oh. I'm a very social person. Right. But there are times that I really, really like quiet. Like when oh. I scream, I want to take silence. Oh, okay. But sometimes silence is deafening to me. Right. So I just realized that I reflect on things for people talking. Mm. And there are times that I prefer people to talk. And oh, okay. with this question, mm -hmm. Um, what was this question? Yeah, but people understand me. Mm -hmm. What is this? Uh, interpersonal. Yes. Right. Interpersonal. Yeah, a person who understands yes. my silence is one who understands me deeply. Oh. Because people perceive me as a talker. Right. And then when I keep quiet, right. I don't I don't know if they understand me. Right. With my silence. Oh, okay, it's really so interesting. Right? Yes. If there's someone like that in, in the future, you will marry him. He knows everything about you without having to yeah. listen to you. Yes. That's <laughs> Very hard to find a person. <laughs> yes. And when you say you, you used to think you are a highly sociable person, but now you discover that you socialize more with yourself. <laughs> and who, who says self thought is not social? Yeah. I mean, no. Sometimes, like, you, 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 you split yourself into two. 
Yeah. Have you ever been torn like stealing? Have, um, one of my friends pick up a wallet in the street, and the wallet has a lot of important document and a lot of money, and she's torn between keeping the money and return the wallet <laughs> or return everything. <laughs> yeah, that's self socializing, self talk, self talk. Um, one of my friends from in the Philippines, yeah, from Illinois University, right? she studied self talk for her master degree. Self talk. There are different ways. Uh, later on, I will give you more similar concept. But self talk is like thinking aloud or thinking quietly. But you hear voices. You're talking. Yeah. Self talk. As a teacher, we do a lot of self talking. Like sometimes activity A or activity B. Yes. Activity A is too challenging. Maybe activity B, but too boring. Which one? Which one? Yeah. That's self talk. Yeah. Yeah. You have a very interesting pattern, but you are prone to silence. And I can see that for you, silence has a lot of value. Yeah. Um, By the way, when talk about self talk, I um, would like to share one story. Sure. Uh, yes. What's interesting is, um, you know, um, I did have that self talk when I do the beauty treatment. Oh. <laughs> Oh, good. That's the best. So time. you know, it's, it's it was quite painful. Mm. We need to get out mm. that pimples from you, okay. and then you. I was talking to myself. Phone, my name is Phone. Phone, mm. uh, you need to refrain this. You mm. need to try your best, and actually, it gave me a lot of strength right. to get over that pain. Okay. You so were comforting yourself. Yes, that's Cheating right. Yourself. <laughs> Encouragement. Yeah. Come on, don't cry. Yeah. So in a way, that come up with right. the idea that. It actually gave you a lot of strength. Exactly. To get exactly. Over, overcome your. I like your example very good. You are comforting yourself because you don't have enough strength, so you build strength. That yeah. Way. <laughs> <laughs> I, there was a, there was a, um, an experiment I read about related to swearing, self talk, but swearing like f word, you know, mm -hmm. like, damn, yeah. bloody hell, and stuff like that. So. This, this psychologist in, in, a, in the school, he did this experiment. He, he had two small, two groups of people in the room with a big box filled with cold ice and water. Mm. Water and ice together and sitting there for a while, very cold. And he, he had them putting both of their hands in the, wa in the, in the, in the water. And he, he wanted to see how long they can last in this coldness. Yeah. Um, he, he took record of how many people can sustain. One group, he allowed them to swear. When you are frustrated, when you find the situation unbearable, and you try to hold on, to hang in there, you can say anything you, you like. Swearing, F1 doesn't matter. We're not recording you. The second group must completely be quiet. You can bite your lip, you can do anything, but you're not supposed to make a sound. Which group do you know? Do you think last longer? Swearing. The first group, the group to swear. <laughs> so swearing produces energy. Yeah. Have you noticed that about yourself? Swearing yeah, produces energy. That's why in Chinese movie in Hong Kong, kung fu movie, sometimes people are fighting and they talk. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> really? Oh. <laughs> so, so actually produce energy. Yes. And your is an excellent example. <laughs> beauty salon. Suffering. <laughs> trying to be beautiful. Yeah. Maybe you, apart from a whole other show, yeah. there, there's a visualization of <laughs> the new you. Like, oh, very being Monroe, I would look like this. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, new spirit. Yeah, new spirit. Exactly, exactly. I'm really happy to hear. Well, I love to listen to everyone, but let's move on a little bit. Um, you don't have to do this anymore because you've already done the activity. I'm sharing this with you. In case in the future, if you run a workshop about silence, you can use this. I will leave this for you. So, um, can, can you raise your hand to show who choose more A than B? Can you raise your hand? Like you feel like, oh, okay. You learn a lot through silence. 
Wow, it's a bit over 50%, it looks like 55% to me by looks, yeah? And then the rest, I don't need to ask you to raise your hand anymore. <laughs> yeah, but you are more prone to talk a little bit more, yeah? You really surprised me because you, know, you tend to learn better, better, slightly better, you know? Uh, I'm sure you already answered the second two question by not telling me I, I know already, yeah? Um, so if you could run this activity in the classroom, I would I would ask those who raised your hand for A to move to one side. So you you tend to learn pretty well through silent, and those with the rest who stay there, like you learn better to talk supposedly. It could be a very interesting activity, but I won't bother you with this anymore. I'll just show you the rest in the future. You can do this with your students. This can be a research topic. Everyone in this room can can use my slides and uh, my, my, my framework to conduct a research topic. Or we can all do it together. Yeah. Reflection, yeah. So within each of the two groups, you then have a quick chat and then share anecdotes. I'm sure when you connect yourself with either silent or talk, you have story, you have explanation, you have reflection. That's how you selected one of those. And tell a story like, uh, what's your name again? Foon. Miss Foon, yes, of course. Like Foon just shared with us a very interesting moment of how she used a silent, actually, she called it self talk, but that's silent, yeah. Self talk can be out loud or can be very, very yeah. quiet. When self talk is out loud, we call it uh, private speech. Like you drop the key and you say, oh no. That's, that's uh, private speech, private speech. But if you don't say anything, you think for yourself. But the voice in your headset was a key, but no one can hear the sound. That's um, inner speech, inner. Private is, you speak to yourself, private speech. I'll give you more later than the other kinds of speech. So you will then share with the person which you did already. And then one thing you might like to do is to give your students a, a scenario to see how they learn. Um, but this is a bit of a conclusion and I guess how you respond. Some of my, some of my guests were not right. I thought you are more of a talker, but no, you're more of a, a thinker, reflective learner, depending on situation, individual. And of course, the value of talk to seven cannot be defined just by one over the other, depending on situations. There's no clear dividing line. There are factors like circumstances, content, people you are with, partner, um, the kind of information. Yeah. Um, this is a scenario that comes from real life. You will give your student this scenario and ask them to process it for, an, for a solution. This is a problem solving activity. Two friends, Alice and Emily, are planning to travel to Cairo, Egypt. Alice decides to dress herself in accordance with local, wearing long outfit and shawl. The reasons that when you are in a new country, you should show respect to the norm because Egypt is an Islamic country. Emily is the opposite. She wants to wear whatever she likes. Sleep is tank top, a pair of shorts. She argued that it's her whole day she pay for it. She should be able to dress in a way she feels more comfortable. So they dress differently. Alice feels it's very stressful if they wear inadequate clothes that attract too much attention. Yeah. But Emily believed that Egypt is hot and humid, so why you torture yourself? If you were to travel with Alice and Emily, how would you dress yourself? That would be a difficult situation, very hard. So you give your children this activity and ask them That's to resolve this in their own view. So to groups, you can say, uh, I think this is a bit artificial, but it can be interesting. The group who is more prone to silence, who we'll try to think among themselves and eventually share, maybe exchange thoughts a little bit. 
either in, in conversation or in writing. The other group can keep can start talking immediately. Yeah. And see which group come up with a better solution. Maybe may, maybe they are both good because they can they are allowed to exercise their favorite mode of learning. And then I have next time have another problem solving scenario and then switch performance. Say the group who enjoy silence now you have to talk. And the group who enjoy talking now you must completely shut up <laughs> and come, come up with solutions to see whether uh, when you are asked to do something against your personality and learning style, can you learn well? Just explore. It's, you don't have to do one but a series of activities to see. And in the end, invite this is research. Yeah, you have to, to reflect on the process. Like session one, you are allowed to uh, follow your own learning mood. Yeah. Session two, you have to do something that you don't always do, and then see your quality and how you feel. They can write reflection. That can be a group project. So yeah, this is just explanation. Uh, don't worry about it, you can evaluate the solution. I will leave it for you to read, but don't worry so much. This is the same thing as what I just shared. Uh, yeah. yeah, just the process. Can we take a um, 10 minutes break and then we'll come back? I'll share with you my research related to this. Yeah. Thank you.